One minute. Vamp, say something intelligent and witty and awesome. Woof. On cue. I guess that might have been witty for dogs. I wouldn't I won't know because she's that intelligent. Hey Indeed. folks, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. We are continuing our live coverage here at CE Week in New York. We are, and we're having a great time. It's almost over and we're gonna be sad to go home. You're gonna have to drive back starting tonight. I have to be in a car with Norm. I get to go for relax. Three more days. I get to go to a spa or something tonight. Sure, I'm sure you'll do bit. that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Speaking of going to a spa and relaxing, I don't Ray know. is here. <laughs> Ray is here. For the spa and relaxation. So I'm that looking sounds forward to good that. to you, yeah, right? So sign me up. I wish I'd come earlier. <laughs> So you're with Sony. Yes. yes, sir. We love Sony. I'm we glad have, to hear it. Thank you. We have mucho Sony stuff. Why'd you go? I don't know. I just kind of, I was, I don't know. Okay. Just did. We'll just go with it. Making me feel at home. I'm from California, the Bay Area. Oh, there you okay. go. San Jose office. So yeah. Nice. Mucho Sony stuff sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're from Texas. So, you know, we get, we get a lot of the Hispanic right. yeah. influence as well. So. Very well. So, you, Sony here is here specifically displaying maybe a lot of different things, but the thing I know is the 4K tel television. I'm sorry, Ultra HD. No, I like. It. I don't mind. I don't mind if you call it 4K. <laughs> uh, at Sony, uh, it's the same thing for those who are, you know, aren't aware yes. of it. But you know, 4K television, uh, ultra high definition television. Yes. I like using 4K. It comes from the cinema. Uh, and 4K has been in the cinema. We've had uh, projectors, yeah. 4K projectors since 2005. Uh, but I worry about the next generation coming around and what's above Ultra HD, like Super Ultra HD or Mega. whatever? Mega. Mega, yeah. I, I, so, I like. so I like the idea of 4K. I think it's a bit more yeah. descriptive, but it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, Sony has uh, cameras uh, and some uh, camcorders and the like in our booth, uh, but also 4K televisions in support of the, the first ever uh, UHD. Uh, conference upstairs. So, uh, oh, that's now, right. Glad to be part of CE Week. Let's just slow down for a second because. But I want to see the TVs. I know you do. We'll get to that in a second. When people, we talk about 4K and we, we just do. take for granted, oh, everybody knows what 4K is. No, it's still a new technology. So. Right now, when you go to the store, the vast majority of televisions you see are 1080p. Correct. And that refers to a specific resolution mm -hmm. that that television is capable of, which is like. 1920 by 1080 yes. mm -hmm. resolution. Correct. It's also what we get on large computer displays and some of the bigger laptops and things like that. Gold now, star for him, right? When we talk about 4K TVs, we're talking about a TV with roughly a 4,000, the resolution is about 4K, about 4,000 wide, mm -hmm. not 4,000 high. <laughs> but it's essentially the equivalent of taking four 1080p TV, 1080p uh, screens and smashing them into the exact same space. Right. So lots and lots more pixels in the same given area, yeah. like four, at least four times. Four times the pixels. Yeah. So yeah. 8.3 million pixels. I think those numbers, I'm just a PR guy. Yeah. I think those numbers are 3840 by 2160. There you go. Uh, something along those lines. Yeah. But yes, 4K is four times the resolution of HD. And what that allows you is a four times more clear picture. Exactly. And it, it, it is beautiful. I mean, we, you know, you've probably heard us talking about this a little bit, but uh, you, you, you She go, can't even put it in words. <laughs> it, it's, or, it's hard to describe, but when you see it for the first time and nothing that we're going to show you right here and now is going to. You're watching uh, at 720p. It, it is going to show it to you. But when you get your eyes on it, you definitely want to see that in person. What are we looking at here? Uh, that's the back of the TV, because yeah. I know that uh, the techie people love to of look course. at the yeah. back of stuff. Look, it's got MHL. It's uh, got MHL. MHL. It, you'll notice an HDMI connection. Uh, yep. What you're looking at right now is the media server, which we were just looking at, uh, is the media server. Um, with uh, a lot of folks are talking about 4K and the lack of 4K content. Yeah, that's a challenge. And yeah, so I want to just address that right away. Yeah. Uh, 4K televisions have a built-in upscaler, so any video source you plug in right now is going to be upscaled till near 4K. You plug yeah. in 1080p into one of these TVs, it just looks better than it, it looks does better. Others. Not, it's not 4K. Be 4K. I like to call it 4K. Yeah, 4K. Okay. I, I love that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So it's um, it's yeah. uh, getting it's getting there, but it will even up 
upgrade and upscale Blu-ray to look yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. So at CES this last year, we had side-by-side -side mm -hmm. 1080p signals coming in on a top-of-the-line LCD, 1080p HD, and a 4K. There's a noticeable difference. Yeah. The well, true magic, though, comes in native 4K. Yeah. Uh, that's a 4K images captured with a 4K camera and going through a 4K workflow system. Uh, After Earth is a good example of that. Might not be the best movie of them all, but uh, visually it's stunning. Captured in 4K, projected in 4K in the cinema, on a 4K TV is going to look great. By the way, I like that movie. I don't care what anybody I says. I didn't think it was bad. It was bad. a good movie. I thought, I th it wasn't good the movie. greatest movie ever made, but Did it was... Did you know that Will Smith wrote that for his son? Uh, he had to have, and I think it was produced by, executive yeah, produced it was, by Will. Yeah, it was written and produced yeah. by him and everything, but he like, he wanted, to, I, I guess he wanted to well, he's getting make his son, his son like... Into the, you know, it was yeah. his first really starring movie. Yeah. It was a good yeah. movie. Yeah. I had no problem like with karate the movie. Karate Kid. Don't forget the Karate Kid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's uh, true. Uh, wait, yeah. Starring girl. Karate yeah. Kid. Jaden oh. was in the, the was remake he? of the, the Karate Chan Kid. Karate. Yeah. Oh. The Jackie Chan. Oh, okay. That was a pretty good movie, like, too. How is that possible? He's a little too young to have been in the first one. I know. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> aged well, hasn't he? He hasn't grown up yet. You know, I think Will did the right thing. If I could get my son a movie, I would. I'd do the same damn thing. I'd do it, too. But And I didn't think it was the bad movie either. But, I mean, the true magic of 4K television will be 4K content, true 4K content, whether it's live, and I think all indications are pointing to the World Cup next year, for sure being oh, a live be 4K okay. event. Uh, they're testing that now at the Confederations Cup. Uh, I'm going to a uh, television studio next week uh, to talk, uh, to look at a concert being filmed, recorded in 4K as part of an uh, ongoing experiment on capturing live Im images in okay. 4K. And then TV shows uh, are, being, uh, uh, are being captured in 4K now. You'll get that on our server. So our server that will be uh, available next month okay. uh, is preloaded with uh, 10 uh, Hollywood feature films and a collection of TV episodes and shorts. Uh, and then there will be the hub for the service, Video Unlimited 4K, coming later this summer, where consumers will be able to rent or purchase to own okay. 4K content from the cloud. Now let's talk about that for a second, because the only other 4K content media type server I've seen has been the Red Ray yes. player. Yes. And the, 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 the big challenge with 4K content is, it's not just four times as pretty, it's like four times as big. Mm -hmm. So if we film something in 4K, it, the file sizes are tremendous. You have to have broadband, yeah. and it's hard to get in real time. So a lot of this has to be kind of preloaded, yeah. yeah. and then we watch it. You've, uh, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> you come up with a couple of really good points. Uh, it, they are much bigger files, but they're not four times bigger. I've been told okay. that, that I know. Um, our server comes with preloaded content. I, you know, in being maybe witty, I will tell you that video on demand right now is a little bit more like video on request. I mean, you have to be a little, there's going to be a little bit of how demanding are you? It's yeah. not yeah. going to be yeah. streaming right away because they are bigger files and, yeah. you know, it's, you, you can't push a tsunami through a straw. Yeah. You know? But this is the beginning of the 4K world. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's actually come farther than I expected it to by this point in time. So I'm, I'm quite pleased so far. Well, one thing I'm really, really glad to hear about is that the TV itself has native upscaling capability. Uh -huh. Because when 1080p was first introduced, we had the exact same issue, yeah. exact same. Sure, of course. And so what happened was, for example, they started building DVD players that did upscaling, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Blu-ray players that did upscaling, and then receivers that did upscaling. It was never in the TV, so yep. you had to have some external component that mm -hmm. would do that. But now a lot of people, because TVs have gotten so good and the audio systems have gotten good, maybe they have just a sound bar, mm -hmm. we don't have necessarily all of those other devices. Yeah. Yeah. So to be able to even bring in a Netflix, you know, mm -hmm. or a anything and have the television do the upscaling, that's a big first step. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, Netflix has, uh, I mean, they were showing 4K uh, streaming at uh, CES this last year. Uh, it, and it's, uh, I, th I think you're right. It's the upscaling uh, that's a big feature of the television sets. And knowing that uh, the reactions that consumers get, viewers, of watching 4K for the first time is that, oh wow, and it's much like the first time you saw an HD picture. Yeah. It's oh wow. And we talked about, you know, you're, you're pleased and maybe surprised about the adoption rate so far and how yeah. it's here to stay. I, I think unquestionably, unlike 3D, where we at Sony and all manufacturers kind of mishoped for, for 3D, <laughs> and we labeled it as a 3D television as opposed to a great television that also right. does 3D. Yeah. Right. 4K is a, a technology platform, a resolution platform, and the best thing about television has always been the picture. Yep. And there's no better picture than 4K. So yeah. I don't know when you're buying your next living room TV, but if it's next year for sure, or a year after, 
it will be a 4K TV. Yeah, it will. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's, there's, I think, 13 manufacturers that have announced 4K. Yeah. It's not just Sony. Uh, and uh, the platform, if you had gone to the NAB show in, in Vegas in the uh, beginning of April. Which I did. It's all yeah. over uh, the production uh, so business. So which specific TV are we looking at, the model? Uh, the TV that you're looking at now is the uh, the younger brothers, uh, the newer younger brothers of the, um, of the 4K televisions that we had uh, last year. Last year was the 84 inch. Okay. This new year model is the X900A. Comes in two sizes, X900A. 65 inch okay. and 55 inch. Now okay. I've seen that. We actually, we live in Dallas and in the Galleria, we have a Sony store. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it on display there in the store. If I recall, it was somewhere in the $6,000 price range. Uh, the 65 inch is $69.99. Yep. And the 55 inch is $49.99. Okay. So you could get in as low as 5000 You can. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about with 4K, and I think it's important for people to recognize, is that the further and further you get away from a 4K screen, the value of the higher resolution fades a little bit. Yep. So, uh, you know, if you own a sports bar and your your customers are going to be 25 feet away, you probably don't need to upgrade your HD TV sets. The right. eye's not going to it's not going to be worth 2x or 3x an HD TV yep. set to, to buy 4K. However, if you're, you're you know our screens are getting bigger and bigger and bigger at home, our homes. Somehow they stay the same size, yeah. right? So yeah. we're we're sitting closer to bigger and bigger screens. That's where 4K really pops out at you. Yeah. If you've yeah. got if you've got a New York City apartment, for example, you're probably sitting 10 feet from your screen. That's right. And a 55, and five, 60 inch screen would be unbelievable. Five yeah. years ago, a big TV in that apartment would have been 42 inches. Yeah. Right. And uh, now now there's it could be 80. There's a a, a friend of ours uh, has a 90 inch LCD on display here, and they yeah. come bigger than that. Yeah. Uh, TVs are big. We want them big. But if you're sitting relatively close, even to an HD set, you begin to get some unwanted artifacts, right? Yeah. The jagged lines, sure. uh, sort of that screen door effect. 4K takes that away. It's yeah. like looking on a window. It's, it's uh, special. I know you've seen it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if these folks have seen it yet, but go to any retailer, check yeah. out 4K, because it's, it's the next wave, and it's here to stay. Yeah, now, yeah. we did see, when we were at CES, I think, we did see a next-gen 8K display. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, there are plenty of those going around. And it does to 4K what 4K does to Multiplies 10B. it again. But yeah. that one is several oh, years gosh, off. We're, That's, these are, these I are, mean, not like decades off, but it's, it's, it's first we got to get, I mean, I don't think there's any chance we skip 4K to go to 8K. Uh, you know, interestingly enough, we have 8K cameras, um, cameras that are capable yeah. of capturing 8K. I still have people, we were in a, at an event on Monday, and a lot of people came up and go, what about 8K? I, I'm 49 years old. I think the, the value proposition for me, the weakest link in the entire thing is my eyesight. Yeah. And I don't, <laughs> I've, I've not seen 8K, uh, but I don't it's, know how much more better I want a picture. So it'd be interesting to see yeah. what it comes from. But uh, yeah. you know, it, it, the future of television, certainly OLED, a lot of folks, we had a beautiful 4K OLED at CES. I know a lot of competitors are trying to put together packages that are a reasonable price. Uh, that seems to be a, a neat kind of technology that's coming forward, and 4K, certainly here to stay. 8K would be interesting. I, yeah. it would, that would really be a wow factor. It, that it would be but nice. in what case, but what do you I, call it? Do you call it Ultra HD? I, I don't 2. know. 2.0? No, I think it's the Mega. Mega HD, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I know, no. to I'm not going to argue with that. that, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Mucho Ultra. Uh, we'll, call it, Ultra we'll call it Cali D, yeah. just because. Why not? Yeah, put your name on it. Sure, yeah. why not? You deserve it. Trademark it now. As long as I get it. <laughs> Trademark it now. As long as I get, get the money from That's it, right. I'm good. <laughs> well, thank Who you needs so Will Smith to make a movie for you? you yeah, can, right. You, you're the next generation of television. That's, That's cool. right. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He, he knows how to flatter yeah, a girl. He does. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming by thank you for and the talking opportunity. about the Sony Ultra, the uh, X900A LED 4K. Go television. check it out, people. 4K. If you haven't seen it yet, you you owe it to yourself to go see yes, that, especially indeed. before you make a new. And I like to thank you for the opportunity for being here. But yeah. more than that, thank you for just being here and bringing CE Week to everybody who can't be oh, at CE Week. Thank you very so, much. Thank you much. Thank Looking you forward to seeing you next year. Yes, okay. indeed, we'll we will. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a great My rest pleasure. of the show. You too. All right. Enjoy.